The anteater is a member of the family Fialidae, the IUCN endangered species. There are four species of anteaters, the large anteater, the Mexican anteater, Central American small anteater, the small anteater and the pygmy anteater, all of which are found in the Americas. The big ones dare to confront the leopards, while the small ones can be the small ones can be held in the palm of your hand. Except for the smallest, the pygmy anteater, all three species have a long mouth, but they can be easily distinguished by their size. In addition, the large anteater is mainly ground-based, while the others are arboreal and down the others are arboreal and hunt from the ground. The small anteater is the size of a dog, with a body length of 53 to 88 centimeters, a tail length of 40 to 59 centimeters, and a weight of 4,500 grams. They have shorter fur, compared to large anteaters, and larger ears. The forelimbs have five toes, the middle three toes have sharp claws, the third the third toe is extra long, the first toe has a small claw, and the fifth toe has no claws, the hind limbs also have five toes. The tail is entangled, and this tail can not only be entangled, but also can play the role of a pillar. Whenever it encounters danger, it will use the tail to support the rear. Whenever there is danger, it will use its tail to support its hind parts, and the half of its body will rise up, like a tripod, while using its forelimbs to intimidate intruders, and a special whistle will come out of its mouth, so as to achieve the purpose of defending itself. Walking will use the back of the hand instead of the palm of the hand on the ground. The animal will walk with the back of its hand instead of its palm. The movement on the ground is not considered sensitive, and it cannot run at high speed like its close relative, the giant anteater. Small anteaters are both arboreal and ground-dwelling animals. It is mostly nocturnal, but occasionally frequents during the day and spends most of its daytime time in cavities in the trunks of large trees. It mainly eats ants and termites, but also sometimes eats honey and bees. Small anteaters have a long, downward curved snout and a 40 cm long tongue, their eyes are small and their vision is poor, but their ears are sharp. Their long, worm-like tongues are flexible and stretchable, and their tongues are rich in saliva from salivary glands and a mixture of parotid secretions. The tongue is rich in a mixture of saliva and parotid secretions, which is used to stick to the many ants. When provoked, they make a hissing sound and emit an unpleasant odor from their anal glands. Reproduction and mating usually occurs in the spring, with one young per litter. The young are born in the spring and spend some time on the mother's back. Big anteater long tongue that tongue of a giant anteater can stretch out to more than half a meter or even 60 centimeters long, and it can flexibly and quickly stretch at a frequency of 150 times per minute. It can easily stir up the anthill and send a steady stream of termites and ants into the mouth. Due to their special habits, anteaters do not have a single tooth in their mouths. The anteater has evolved powerful forelimbs in order to easily peel away the hard soil of the anthill, and the third toe is especially thick and developed and has sharp sickle-like hooked claws. Because of these hooked claws, the anteater does not walk with its palm on the ground, but with the back of its palm and knuckles to protect its long claws, and walks in a limp-like posture. As the size and force of the anteater family, the large anteater can reach a length of about 2 meters and a weight of 29 to 65 kilograms. When in danger, they often stand upright with their forelimbs spread out to show their blades, and use there the tail is the rudder, forming a stable triangular structure, ready to fight with opponents with unicorn arms and sickle claws. In terms of protecting its young, the greater anteater is a step up from the lesser anteater. Like the lesser anteater, the greater anteater gives birth to only one litter at a time. Small anteaters and pygmy anteaters also carry their young on their backs, but may leave their young on the road or in the nest when they go out to feed. While small anteaters and pygmy anteaters also carry their young on their backs, they may leave them on the road or in the nest when they go out to feed, while large anteaters carry their young on their backs for almost the entire time they are nursing. The lifespan of wild living giant anteaters is about 14 years, and the longest recorded lifespan in captivity has been 26 years. The longest recorded lifespan in captivity is 26 years. The maximum lifespan of a small anteater is about 6 years. Large anteaters eat large amounts of ants, up to 1 pound, 454 grams, at a time. They are useful in suppressing ant infestations. However, anteaters are more restrained in their predation of termites and ants and do not target only one anthill for a long time, much less one anteater only eats ants in a nest for about 140 days, and then leaves for another nest after eating. By eating this way, it can ensure the survival of ants in its territory. The anteater is generally gentle and timid. Anteaters are generally gentle and timid, rarely attacking on their own initiative, but only defending and fighting back when they sense danger or when their young are threatened. However, being gentle does not mean being weak and incompetent. It is an overlooked heavyweight power player. If a large anteater and a jaguar meet in the wild, the jaguar may not be the anteater's opponent, and the odds are that it will end in a lose-lose situation. 
Although the anteater does not have the hard armor of a pangolin, its fur is it is also very thick. Its two hooked claws are also very deadly weapons, in the face of the enemy, they often stand upright, using their tails as support. Then, like tigers and leopards, they lunge upwards and the two hooked claws can immediately pierce into the enemy's body. An anteater was once seen drinking water when a jaguar passed by and was scared away by the anteater. So, even a nearsighted cripple's strength it should not be underestimated. Anteaters generally have small eyes and poor eyesight, high myopia, but their sense of smell is very sensitive and they can accurately find the location of ants, and their sense of hearing is also very good, which is probably a necessary survival skill for every blind this is probably a necessary survival skill for every blind person, but with its excellent nearsightedness and delicious flesh. The anteater still mixes itself into an endangered species. 222 anteaters belong to the order Fialidae, and there are two families and four species. The largest of them, the large anteater, has a body plus tail up to 1.8 m long and weighs 30 to 50 kilograms, while the smallest pygmy anteater, only 35 centimeters, is about the same size as a cat. The large anteater, with its long and dense hair, can defend itself against insects, which is the origin of the name of the order Phyllophagidae. The pygmy anteater has a short muzzle. All anteaters also have long tails and are good at curling their grip. Due to their unique habits, anteaters all have sharp front claws to destroy the nests of ants and termites, professional demolition. The front claws of the pygmy anteater and the long tongue, tube-like muzzle for easy licking of ants. The skull of the anteater, and the teeth have degenerated the anteater's tongue has tens of thousands of barbs, and these barbs can easily stick ants together when they attach saliva. When the anteater's tongue is inserted into the anthill, it swings from side to side at a rate of 150 times per minute, making it a nightmare for ants. Just like the woodpecker, the long tongue often reveals just the tip of the iceberg, and the anteater's tongue extends all the way to the sternum. In the case of large anteaters, for example, they plan hundreds of anthills every day, eating about 20,000 to 30,000 ants, termites mostly. Moreover, this is because the body temperature of anteaters is relatively low among mammals, 33-36 degrees Celsius, so as to reduce the daily energy consumption, otherwise they would have to eat more. The African anteater, in fact, has nothing to do with anteaters. They belong to the order Tubifex, and are the only surviving species of living fossils, also known as aardvarks. African anteater African anteaters are widely distributed in the sub-Saharan region. The name Tubifex is due to the special structure of their teeth, which have no enamel, but are composed of numerous tiny cylinders. These teeth have no roots, but grow throughout their lives. Moreover, the milk teeth are lost before they are born. The tooth structure of the tube tooth order may have up to 1,500 columns on one tooth compared with anteaters, aardvarks are a bit larger, with a body plus tail up to 2.2 m long and weighing 60-80 kg. And they have sparse hair, unlike anteaters that can rely on long hair to defend against insects, but rely on thick skin. With similar sharp claws and long tongue as anteaters, aardvarks can eat up to 50,000 ants a day. But there are some they respect, such as fire ants, with stinging needles in their tails, and spear ants, with huge jaws. Spear ants, imagine having your tongue bitten by hundreds of these things at the same time. Similar to anteaters, aardvarks have average eyesight and rely mainly on their sense of smell to search for prey. The aardvark's nose is somewhat similar to a pig's nose, which is why they got their name. However, the aardvark's sense of smell is probably the strongest in the animal kingdom, research on this is still ongoing. There are two main elements that affect the sense of smell, the olfactory bulb and the turbinate. The olfactory bulb is a part of the cerebral cortex, and the number and size of the olfactory bulb directly determines the number of olfactory receptors. Aardvark has nine olfactory bulbs, which is the first among mammals. Comparison of olfactory bulbs in human and dog The nasal turbinates are located in the nasal cavity, and besides supporting the nasal wings, they are also distributed with olfactory receptor cells. Aardvark has nine eleven nasal turbinates, dogs have four five, which is also the first among mammals. The human, turbinate, blue arrow, Therefore, even with poor eyesight, aardvarks can find the location of anthills accurately. The aardvarks' huge ears also provide them with a good sound collection so that they can be alert to their surroundings at all times during feeding. With these skills, aardvarks can still be active in the African continent as survivors of the order Tubifex. Even the god said in Egyptian mythology is thought to have derived its shape from the aardvark. And in the magical Australia, there is also a member of the anteater family, the pouch anteater. Pouch anteater The bag anteater belongs to the order pangolin, which has nothing to do with anteaters or African anteaters. The pouch anteater is small, about the same size as the pygmy anteater, only 35-45 cm and weighing 28700 g. Due to its small size, the claws of the bag anteater are not enough to destroy the termite nest, so it can only start from the channel extending outward from the termite nest, at the red arrow in the picture below, where it only needs to destroy a layer of soil on the surface. This is where you only need to destroy the surface layer of soil, which is much less labor-intensive. 
Bag anteaters basically only feed on termites, partly because they are softer and easier to chew, and partly because they are rich in juice, which provides them with plenty of moisture in drier Australia. Pretty much the same thing like all anteaters, pouch anteaters have a long tongue. However, their teeth have not yet completely degenerated, and there are still very small teeth remaining, but they basically do not have the ability to chew. Teeth are only the size of small grains of rice, basically invisible due to their small size. Pouch anteaters also have many natural predators, including foxes, pythons, and raptors. So they will use hollow tree trunks as nests to hide from these predators. Once the nest is discovered, they will also try to block the entrance with their own asses. Sometimes leaving predators with no way to get down. Thank you for watching, and welcome to leave your comments in the comments section.